Welcome to a video from the DCLifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a little bit more out of your surface dial. So the surface dial is a nice little Bluetooth controller designed to work with the surface, but it works with other devices as well. For things like um, scrolling, you can control volume and that kind of thing. So I've got a browser page, and I can I'm just turn the volume up and down with rotating that. It does work on screen as well. But to see I'm using the volume, I can press and hold it down, change it for something like scrolling, and I can use it for scrolling my page up and down like that. Now that's great, but I want to do a bit more with it, and I do quite a bit of video editing in programs like Camtasia Studio. So I wanted a way to be able to control scrolling the timeline in Camtasia Studio, and it turns out you can do that. So my dial has been stuck in my drawer for some time, because I really don't get a lot of use out of it. Suddenly, I've got a lot of a lot more use out of it. So I'm going to show you how you set that up in uh, Windows 10 and uh, how I've got it working with Camtasia Studio but it could be anything, video editing software, anything, basically anything that's got a key combination you can control with that. So what I'll do now is I'll head over to the, my uh, Surface and I'll show you on the Surface how it works. So in Windows 10 in settings I go to wheel and here you can see the default controls I can customize these but I'm gonna add an application so I think to do something uh, well they let's have a look at my video scrub for Camtasia if I got to customize you can see I've got one tool set up for that which does the plus uh, that which does the comma the period and s so let me show you what I mean by that So hold down my uh, surface dial, change it, to, change it to that one option, which is seen, because it's detected that I'm using Camtasia Studio. If Camtasia wasn't available, then this one wouldn't be there. So I've got that selected now. So if I turn the dial now, you can see it's adjusting the scroll. Uh, if I zoom in a bit on the timeline, you'll see what I mean. So I can scroll with my finger backwards and forwards, Control the speed, and I've I've used the center tap button as a cut marker. So if I've got a track selected like that, say, I can hold the center button and it, and it cuts. So how did I set this up? I've already got Camtasia added in there, but let me add, show you. I add a new application. I can say which application does uh, do I want to work with this? So um, you can choose whatever your application is. What I'm going to do to make this easy to show you is I'm going to use a word so I'm going to use word now as an example so um, so here we are using word now so I'm using word and I want my left button to do uh, control X and do the cut so let's say uh, control X I want when I turn it right I want it to do control C to copy so control C and then when I do the center button I want it to paste so let's do control V okay and we don't want that to be control V let's do that so that's in word now so if I go back to Camtasia Studio and bring up the menu you see it doesn't bring up those word options because I never because we're not using word yet so let's fire up word and give that a test okay so I've got a word document open here uh, so I've let's bring up the word toolbar I created. So now if I turn left, that's cut it. If I go over here and do centre button, it pastes it. Uh, if I turn right, it copies it. And I go over here, it pastes it. So straight away I've got a little handy tool there. Now it might could be that you would rather have it scroll through the text and select word that's probably more useful so I can go back to it and I actually could create another um, menu so let's add another menu so I should have called that other one copy and paste I'm going to call this select so um, you need to know what the keywords are for you need to know what the, the shortcut keys are for selecting the previous word next word 
control and left goes previous word, control right goes next word. So let's do that. So control left. Also, that should be control right for the right one. Control left. So that's the one that I called new tool. I'm just going to rearrange that, uh, rename that and call it clipboard. So now if I go back into to Word, choose my toolbar, hold down the button so I can choose. I know two is the clipboard. Sorry, one was the clipboard, two is the select one I've just created. So let's choose that one. You see now it's looking through all, scrolling through all the words. So there you go. You see now I've got two separate menus for one application clipboard and the um, scrolling. If I go back to Camtasia Studio, I can choose my video scrub menu and I could choose another one for editing and so on. So now I can really replicate any, well with this I can use any functions that support keyboard controls. I can use with the, the surface dial. So it's a really nice easy way of setting the surface dial to use more useful than it is appears out of the box. Now probably not if you've got a surface dial you spent the time to do this and you've done it already. I didn't, I just set mine up, did the basics and then kind of forgotten about it. So hopefully you get a bit more use out of your surface dial now you've seen this little guide. You can find out more on our YouTube channel, thedigitalized.com and I'm I, I. Dixon on Twitter.